you're all going to be thinking, oh no, it's time for another S10 video. Uh, but what I want to do in this video is show you how the S10 kind of adapted and turned into the FM12 and the masks like that. Because I get lots of questions from people saying, isn't the S10 actually the exact same mask as the FM12? Or isn't the CT12 the same mask as the FM12 or the S10? You know, all these sorts of things. So I thought what we'll do is have a look at each of the masks and kind of work out what happened with them. So the important thing to note is the S10, this one, is the one that came first. Now let's take the cherry red uh, eyepieces off because as cool as they look, that's uh, you know something that's going to distract people, I think. I saw that my love for this mask has become so apparent there's now a mim of me with it, which I'm going to post in the video now. But anyway, here is um, the S10. So this was the mask the British Army adopted somewhere in the mid 80s and kept in service all the way up till sort of nearly, nearly about 2010. The year's a bit debatable when the GSR kicked this thing out of service eventually. But the masks are very sort of standard. It was very good for the time, uh, quite standard by modern sort of you know applications. But you'd have your filter on one side, which is the side you don't shoot with. You've got these two quite clever eyepieces. I talked about this the other day, so I don't want to go into it in huge detail, where it's relatively flat at the front, but then it's got a clear plastic holder for the eye lens. So you can use scopes of it fairly well, and you get peripheral vision, which is always nice. Drinking tube inside there. So everything works quite well on here. Um, so yeah, the S10, obviously, I've talked about how much I like it before, but it was a really good mask. Now, what happened is Avon liked the design of this mask, so obviously they'd done a good job designing it. And then they thought, how do we do a better version of it that cuts the weight down a bit, keeps all the good parts of the S10, but improves upon it? So what they came up with was the FM12, which, let's see if I can hold both of them so you can see them clearly, which the untrained eye, I guess, kind of looks like the exact same mask, but it's not. So, an important thing to note is that the actual sort of exhale valve covers, yeah, the plastic exhale valve covers, are smaller on the FM12 series, and the eyepieces are also smaller. Uh, the reason for that is they basically figured out you could reduce the weight of the mask and make the lenses stronger by reducing them in size. Now, supposedly, they're actually polycarbonate on the FM12 series, but the S10 series, for the most part, was a weaker plastic, like PVC or something. So the FM12 ends up being a lot lighter than the S10, not by a massive degree I'd say, but you know, enough that you can notice a difference. One of the big differences is the head harness. S10 has the kind of rubber one which is alright, but the CT12 and FM12 series have the sort of really nice mesh one which is a lot more comfortable. Um, so the drinking tube's been improved as well inside there. The connector on this one sits a bit tighter to the bottom and it's got kind of a better straw to grip on to suck the liquid through. The oral nasal cups I think are slightly different as well. Yeah, If you look at the S10's oral nasal cup you'll see that it's kind of a big bulky bit of rubber that's bent in the middle. On the um, FM12 it's got more of an actual nose shape if that's apparent there. It's going to be fairly hard to see on the video when you look inside the mask but it's actually got a kind of nose indent in it which lines up with the nose indent there. All in all that makes it more comfortable. As far as I'm aware the chin rests are the same on both masks. Actually again that looks slightly improved on the FM12. It looks more like a well defined chin rest where the S10 is kind of not. So anyway, the S10 was very good but for whatever reason Britain didn't adopt the um, FM12 when they were going to the new mask. Lots of other countries did however. Now, to make things more confusing, there's lots of different varieties of S10, so let me try and remember what they all are. So there's your bulk standard S10, this is the one the British Army used. All of the outserts and things are compatible with every mask in this series, because all the S10 type masks have the same eye sort of bits for the uh, lenses to go on. So you had the S10, that was the standard British Army one. Then there was one called the AR-10, which as far as I'm aware was like the improved design, but it wasn't quite the FM-12 yet. The FM-12 was like the properly full produced one. 
you also had the SF-10, which was stood for Special Forces 10, which is the one the SAS used. It was basically the S-10, but had dual filter ports, so this side actually had a removable filter port, like you'd see on the FM-12 series as a more common feature. And then there was also, I think, the N-10, which was designed as a civilian respirator without a drinking tube on. And again, I think that had polycarbonate in some of the lenses. So it gets quite confusing, but basically, it wasn't until the FM-12 there was a proper sequel, it's just that some of the S-10 varieties were slightly better in quality, or maybe they cut one feature off and had a different feature on. So, that's all of those. Also, there's apparently two variants of the SF-10. One that's the standard one with the dual filter ports, and then one that's also got an extra microphone port. I think somebody in the comments as well was asking me about that. Um, what was this thing? It's probably the weird microphone port cover some SF10s, some SF10s have and others don't. The other thing they cut down for the um, FM12 series is they removed the NVC hood catch. I think that's just because it adds more weight and bulk to the mask. So, now let's look at the FM12 again. So, as I said, basically the main idea is that you cut down the weight and bulk of an S10 and improve it with the FM12. So the easiest way to think about this really is if you think if you have a car and then you know a couple of years later they do a new generation of that car where it's been changed slightly, that's basically what this is to um, the S10 series. It's kind of like an improved S10 in almost every way. Now, there are some features I think some people prefer at the S10, which I can understand because it's slightly bulkier, which can be a good thing in a mask in some ways. Um, and, yeah, there's lots of little things like that. Field of view is, I think, slightly better on the S10. But it comes at the cost of having weaker lenses, so obviously it's better to have a mask like this. So, let's just pop this one on. So yeah, very comfortable. The only thing that I don't find comfortable with these masks after too long is that when you're talking in it for too long with the straps fairly tight, that does actually eventually cause your jaw to be a bit painful, but that's not, um, you know, exclusive to these masks. Lots of respirators have that problem. But yeah, airtight, sealed. Um, you don't need to do the straps massively uh, tight on this. But overall, yeah, these are even better masks. So. Why do I actually prefer the CT12 then to the FM12? Because, as you can see, they are both very similar masks. It's literally just down to the reason it doesn't have the drinking tube thing on it, and this one has dual filter ports. My FM12, for whatever reason, is one of the models that doesn't have dual filter ports, but... Basically, the idea of the CT12 was that they would plug the drinking tube a bit up, take the drinking tube out, fill it with some plastic or rubber, so there's no weak spot in the mask there, because actual CT counter-terrorist units wouldn't need um, a drinking tube, you know, when they raid a building. So the idea was it gives you all the same level of protection, but there's no drinking tube that makes the mask a bit lighter. But other than that, it is the exact same mask as um, the FM12. So let me do that one. And I should have undone the straps a little bit. Before right, so there you go. That's the uh, CT12. And yeah, this one is technically my favourite respirator ever, because there's just, it's very comfortable, very lightweight, it fits my face perfectly, uh, which a lot of respirators, even when they fit well enough to do an airtight seal on, you know, a brilliant fit, but this thing is comfortable, fits properly, good enough field of view. Uh, you know, it's a robust mask, so yeah, that's why I like it so much, but hopefully this video has cleared up the differences in the S10 family of respirators, how each one sort of came from the last one, maybe.